Russian supination. Take a staggered stance for the regression form of the exercise. Place both hands in front, making your gut, and you're going to turn to the side just like this. To advance the exercise, stand on a single leg with the opposite foot, balance just above the ground, and we're going to do the same movement with our arms, moving back and forth. The goal here is to balance on the stance leg, controlling the foot and ankle through supination and preparation. Perform 10 repetitions per leg. Step sweeps. Balancing on one leg, you're going to go into ankle dorsiflexion, keeping the heel on the ground and taking the knee towards the toes. Opposite foot is going to go out into a reach and make a capital D, just like this. Again, notice on my stance leg, in this case my left leg, my knee is moving forward towards my toes. From a side view, it's going to look just like this. Forward, sweeping with my opposite right leg like that, working the fascia and tissue on the back of the calf. Perform 10 repetitions on both legs. Sumo squats. Squat down, grab the toes, stand on your fingertips. Get down into a nice deep squat. Come up, hold two to four seconds, and then down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Do your best to sit as low as you can while maintaining good form with your knees tracking in line with your toes. Sumo squats. Squat to toe raise. Note this exercise can be progressed by assuming a single leg stance, which increases the load on the tissues and makes it much more challenging. Begin by lowering yourself down into a squat, come up slowly, balance on the balls of the feet for approximately two seconds, come down, squat, come back up, pausing at the top, repeat for the desired number of repetitions. If you're going to do the single leg, just like this, you can place your hands on your hips or hands to the side, either way, you're going to go down, come up, pause, come down. on the other side if you do a single leg stance. Single leg deadlift reaches. Begin with your hands overhead. Choose a leg to stand on. You're going to go down, just like this. The posterior leg, the toes are going to drag just above the ground. And up. From the side view, it's going to look just like this. Directional foot reaches. Again, we're going to take a stance leg and let that knee drag forward towards the toes, keeping the heels on the ground, reaching forward just like this. We're also going to go to the side and then back behind the body. Notice with each movement of this counter leg here, my left knee is dragging forward towards my toes, but I'm keeping my heel on the ground in order to stretch out the fascia and the tissue on the back of the calf. Perform 10 repetitions per leg. Retro squat ball. From a lateral view, it's going to look just like this. Squat down, go up on the balls of the feet, and you're just going to walk backwards just like this. Again, from a lateral view, just like this, trying to stay on the balls of the feet. Per perform for the length of the room or for a uh, repetition time period of 20 seconds. step overs. This exercise you don't really need a cone, but having an object here can just be good for visualization. Just balancing on my left leg, I'm going to take my right leg up and over the cone, lightly touch my big toe down on the ground, and bring it back, just like this. Nice and slow and controlled. Perform 10 repetitions per side. 
Single leg squat touchdown. Stand down the left leg, use your contralateral arm, holding it at 90 degrees. You're going to do a single leg squat with rotation and reach to somewhere between the knee and the foot bank. So it's down just like this. You want to keep the torso, your chest and shoulders as upright as possible. Just like this. Perform 10 repetitions. Single leg, multi-level, contralateral, anterior reach. Notice I reached for the foot and at the ground, foot and ankle height, I reached knee height. I reached waist height, I reached chest shoulder height, and I reached above my head. With each reach though, I also extended my arm horizontally as far as I could. Single leg, multi-level, contralateral, anterior reach. Crab glute bridge. The goal here is to go into hip extension. Make sure you're driving with your glutes. Cross and lunge. This exercise can be done to the front and to the rear. Perform for the desired number of repetitions, then repeat on the other side. Segmented burpees. Begin with hands overhead, go down into a push-up position, bring the right leg up to the right hand, drop the hips in, look up, retract and depress the shoulders, hold for one to four seconds, switch sides, left leg comes up, hold one to four seconds. Since you began with the right leg, lift the right leg, followed by the left leg, stand up, reach for the sky, squeeze the glutes, and repeat the process, beginning with the left leg back, left leg forward, Right leg forward, left leg up, stand up, reach for the sky, down, right leg back, right leg forward, left leg forward, right leg up, stand up, reach for the sky. Repeat for 10 repetitions or 20 seconds of continuous movement. Forward step leads. Begin in a staggered stance, feet hip shoulder width apart. Make sure that you're on the ball of the back foot. You're going to reach to the side while pushing this hip out, trying to keep the knee in line with the toes as you level change. So we're pushing the hip out and reaching and looking at our hand. Just like that. Perform 10 repetitions. Repeat on the other side. Step over squats. Begin in a T position. Just like this, now notice from this position your feet are going to want to roll to the outside in the supination or the outsides of your feet. I want you to take the ball of the big toe on both feet and push it down and squash a bug as Chuck Wolf says. You're going to hold that position, making sure not to arch your low back. You're going to feel internal rotation occur inside your hips. You're going to then lift your leg up nice and slow, step out into a plie squat, take an external rotation, drop down. Come up, just nice and slow, coming back like a balance exercise. Tee the feet again, push.
push the ball of the big foot down on each foot. You should feel that inside your hips. Hold for one to four seconds. Come back. Side shuffles, toe in and toe out. So we're going to begin in an athletic stance here. We're going to take a lateral step, making essentially a wide T here. Because my toes are pointed that direction, I'm going to step. When I do that, my hip is in external rotation. As I bring my foot square again, it now comes more towards internal rotation. Step out. Going back the other way. Here. seconds of continuous movement in either, in either direction. Arm reaches. Begin in a staggered stance. We're going to level change, reaching forward at waist height. Stand up and now to the side just like we did before the forward step leads. Just like this. Forward to the side. Forward on either side. Note that you need to go forward and to the side to complete one repetition. Thread the needle. Begin in a hip shoulder width stance. You're going to take a step back to approximately 7 o'clock or at 5 o'clock. You're going to take the opposite hand that you step with and it's going to go down and between the legs just like this, but you need to make sure to try to keep the back in a neutral spine or as flat as possible. So, beginning just like this, we're going to take a step towards 7 o'clock. Pivot, turn, and reach. Come back. Again. Again. Perform 10 repetitions and repeat on the other side. Reverse lunge with twist. From a hip shoulder width stance, you're going to take a step back. Whatever leg you take a step back with, that arm goes up in the air. So if I step back with my right leg and drop down into a lunge, my right arm goes up, I lean back, my opposite arm goes behind my back, just like this. I'm going to lean to the side and rotate. Come up, switch sides, back, lean to the side and rotate. Again, step back, lean to the side and rotate. If you're doing the lean back, Lean to the side and rotate, ideally all at once, but in that order. Again, it's lean back, lean to the side, and rotate, just like that. Stretching out the hip flexors, the iliosomes. Perform 10 repetitions on either side. Note that it can be done in an alternating pattern, which is more advanced, or all on one side and then all on the other for the regressed version. Split kicks. Assume a quadruped position with the knees up. Notice from the lateral view here, my knees are up, my back is nice and flat. I'm going to turn, do an inside row with the hand that comes up, and kick out. Notice my hip almost touches the ground. Fingertips pointed forward on the hand that's down. Come back, switch, go the other way. Just like this. Short little breaths. Notice I'm staying compact, I'm not all spread out like this. That way it allows you to get the proper amount of turn and rotation. Just like that. Perform 10 repetitions on either side for a total of 20. Toe in lunge reach around. That means as I step back, my toe is going to be pointed in. If this is zero degree, slightly in, and it can vary the amount. The more forward it is, the more challenging it's going to be from an internal rotation standpoint. But as long as it's not neutral, as long as it's some degree of internally rotated here, that's fine. So, from a 12 o'clock position, I'm going to step approximately 4 or 5 o'clock, internally rotate the foot, come back, my lead leg goes straight, I follow the hand that I turn to. 
toe out, lunge, reach, rest. Now we're going to take the foot and we're going to actually turn the toe out past 90 degrees or past that neutral position here. So as I step back, I'm going to follow my hand just like this. Notice this is going to be easier than the toe in, lunge, reach, rest. Perform 10 repetitions on either side. Crossover step reaches. Begin in a hip shoulder width stance, frontal lunge, taking the hands towards the knees, keeping the torso erect. Step back, cross the feet, make your gun, and turn towards the side of the lead leg. Come back, frontal lunge, reaching towards the knee. Step back, make your gun. space between my knees and the ground, just like this, and I keep a flat back. I can move forward, I can move backwards. I can also move laterally to the side. Note that my hands are staying at approximately chest level so that I don't get my arms overextended above my head. Perform for the desired length or time that you want to crawl. Push-ups with rib 